This is Kate Koenig with Intune Monthly, the music education magazine for middle and high school students. I'm here today to show you some basic tips on playing a guitar using the Olympic Acoustic Electric Guitar from the Epiphone Master Belt series. Today we're going to talk about basic major and minor chords and what goes into them. Now, you probably know how to play open chords and bar chords. But what you may not know is the notes that they're made up of. First, let's define a few things. What is a chord? A chord is more than two notes played together in harmony. So your most basic chords just have three notes in them. Those are also known as triads. How do you build a major chord? First, you choose a note to start with. So let's start with C. And then in order to build the chord, all you have to really know is the correct scale to use. So if you want to build a C major chord, you want to use the C major scale. Now, major and minor triads are made up of the first, third, and fifth scale degrees of their respective scales. So if we want to build a C major chord, we're going to take the first of the C major scale, which is a C, then the third, which is an E, and then the fifth, G. And you put those three notes together and you have a C major triad. So, when you're playing C major, whether it's open or barred, every note on every string is either a C, an E, or a G. So now let's try the same thing with A major. So, if we want to build an A major chord, we're going to use an A major scale. Um, the first degree of an A major scale is, of course, A. The third is C sharp. And the fifth is E. So, when we play A major, every note on every string is either an A, a C sharp, or an E. So now let's try this with minor chords. It's really, it's the same exact thing, it's just you use a minor scale instead of a major scale. So if we want to build A minor, we start with A again, but this time we're going to use the A minor scale. The only thing that ends up changing is the third. So the first is again A, but this time in the A minor scale, the third is C natural. So you can already hear the minor quality of it. And then the fifth is E. So when you play A minor, every note is A, C, or E. So now let's try with E minor. So to build an E minor chord, you want to take E and then use the E minor scale. So obviously your first is E, your third is G natural, and your fifth is B. Part of why playing the E minor chord is so simple is because a lot of the open strings on the guitar already fit within an E minor chord. Um, if you notice, the only strings that you're changing are the ones that aren't naturally E, G, and B. So you're actually only modifying the A string and the D string to play an E minor chord. So whether it's barred or open, every string is either an E, a G, or a B. So there you have it. Don't fall into the common trap of knowing how to play the chords, but not knowing what they're actually made up of or what they are. Knowing the theory behind what you're doing can really help improve your playing and your writing.